The cool thing about TypeScript is that it can help you to set up type safety. And I will show you how this works with an array. So let me just create an array as I would create it in JavaScript. So I will just call new array here to then get an array where I can store in any type. And that's, by the way, something that TypeScript automatically detects. So if I hover over the array, then I see that TypeScript inferred a type for us. And that's very important to understand. By default, when we don't annotate a type, TypeScript will infer a type for us. In this particular case, TypeScript inferred that this is an array. We see the array brackets here. And it's an array where any value can be put inside. This means that in our array, I can store all the values that I like. For example, I can store numbers here, but I can also store strings. So let me just push an ABC in here and I can add any other value. So for example, I can push undefined to that array and I can also push if I like, for example, an object. Yeah, so this uh, all works. And now comes in where TypeScript is very good at, which is type safety. For example, if I want to guarantee that my array only contains strings, then I can give it a type annotation. It's actually very simple. I just have to click here on that array and right next to it, I will give it a type explicitly. So I will say I want to store in strings in an array. And now TypeScript says, okay, if you're doing that, then it's not allowed to put in numbers or undefined values or objects. This uh, all won't be allowed then anymore. There's also a different syntax that we can choose because we are using here new array. So we can also write that this should be an array that stores strings. If we look at how array is declared, we then see that the interface for the array is generic. So it accepts a type argument. Yeah, here it's the definition of um, how arrays are defined for node. I see that here in the, in the globals DTS file. And this gives us now more possibilities because instead of using a type annotation, we can directly pass the generic type argument to the array. The type argument will then be string and then I have a string array. What will also work is using a type assertion. So a type assertion is overruling what TypeScript thinks it is. So when I remove the type argument, then TypeScript will again infer an array that can store any value. But I can also overrule that uh, type inference and say, okay, whatever you think it is, please treat it as a string array. So a string array. And then this here will be like an any array, which I then claim to be a string array. So TypeScript type assertions work here with that S keyword. However, I wouldn't recommend it here because it means that TypeScript infers something and then you are overruling this decision. And instead of overruling a decision, I would just pass in the type right from the start. If you want to have it even shorter, then you can avoid using the array constructor. So we can just replace it by using the square brackets here to declare an array. And then you see here that it is again in any array because TypeScript doesn't know with um, what values you want to use it. So in this case here, when you have it like this in the, in the short syntax, then you should use then again the type annotation. So in this case, use the type annotation of string array.
It's actually equivalent to the type that we would have received when using the constructor. So we can also type out array string. And this concludes the little exercise here. I hope you now have a good understanding what a type annotation is and what it means to use um, a type assertion and also what type inference is.